Today I'm going to bring out my inner hipster and show you how to create the 80s or 90s VHS look to your modern camera's video footage. So it'll look something like this. So we're back in the early 90s when all the consumer cameras are like this. The Sharp Slim Cam, the world's smallest full-size VHS camcorder. It's the great new shape in camcorders. The camera I'm using to record this video right now is the Panasonic G7. I made a review on this camera a few months ago, many months ago actually. Uh, it's a budget 4K camera and uh, this came out in 2015. Let me take off my hipster glasses. Uh, the following few video clips were all shot with the Panasonic G7. So please enjoy this short video montage with some vaporwave. So how did I achieve this look? Well, let's head over to Final Cut and I'll show you how. All right, on my computer, the program I'm using is Final Cut Pro to achieve this effect. So after you created a new library, now you can create a new event. And here you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it VHS Video, if I can type properly. And down here, under Custom, you can choose the video resolution, the video properties. Uh, as you know, obviously, VHS camcorder did not shoot in HD. Neither did it shoot 16 by 9 widescreen. So we have to change the resolution. Uh, so go to custom and uh, you can change it to 480p or 360p. And the aspect ratio will be 4 by 3. So the resolution for 480p is 640 by 480. Press OK. And here's a new event. So import your video footage and then drag it into the timeline. So this is the footage I'm gonna be working with today. So this is a short little video I took in LA. I think this was in Beverly Hills. First things first, since we changed the aspect ratio to four by three, now we have to zoom the video in to fill in the top and bottom black bars. To do that, it's very simple. Go to transform and then just drag the scale to about 135 percent and you can play around with the x-axis moving it left or right the next thing i like to do is go to effects which is the first tab here effects and then type in gaussian blur Because of the VHS camera, it has a lower resolution of 480p video. I like to add a little bit of a blur to it. Obviously, this is too much. Um, I like to maybe put it at a 2 or a 3. Yeah, I'll put it at a 2. The next effect I will apply is noise. VHS camera usually has quite a bit of noise, especially in low light situations. Uh, so we're going to add some artificial noise to it. Usually I like to put it at 0.05 to 0.08. Uh, so let me just put it at 0.07 this time. And you can see a little bit of noise, which is not too much. Oftentimes the VHS camcorder itself will add sharpness to the video footage to compensate for the fact that it has low resolution. So let's add some sharpness to this video clip. So let's search for sharpen. And let's add this effect. I like to turn the sharpness up to about a 8 or a 9. So something like that looks pretty good. Now we can move on to the colors. So go and show the color board. First, let's do the exposure. You can just play around with the exposure depending on the different scene or different types of lighting. Because this is nighttime, I'm going to turn it up, turn the uh, highlights up a little bit. 
And I like to turn up the shadows a little bit because the VHS video usually looks a little bit washed out. And I'm going to turn down the midtones a little bit. I like to bump up the saturation, especially in the highlights. And a little bit in the midtones too. And for the colors, this really depends on the scene or the different types of lighting. Usually the VHS camera does not do well in the white balance. So we can add a little bit of a orange or bluish tint to make it look like the cameraman or the camera screwed up on the white balance. So in this case, I'll make it a little bit more blue. I think this looks about right. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is before and after. So far, there's a huge difference. Next, let's add another effect. This time, let's add the bad TV effect. VHS videos were recorded onto a tape, so adding this effect makes it more accurate because this effect is something you'll see in a tape. So for the amount, I like to put it at around a 3 or 4. And let's change the type to TV static and add a little bit of a rolling effect. So maybe a 2 here. There it is. So this is how you get the look. But we're not done yet. Let's add some more things to it to make it more believable, to make people think that this is actually a video from the 80s or the 90s. The first thing we can do is add the date or the timestamp. All right, so I just added the timestamp, and uh, here's the format, the date format I put it in. Uh, you can see the date, uh, the year, and the uh, time in 24-hour format. The font I used is called VCR OSD Mono. You can search it up, download it, install it on your Mac, and you can use this font. This is the typical VCR font. As you can see in the video montage, I added some transitions. So I've, I noticed that this kind of transition is pretty popular uh, back in the 80s or the 90s. I see them a lot in commercials. So this transition, you can find it in movements and you can scroll down and this is a flip. Another effect I like to add, well this is not for video, this is for the audio. Uh, I like to add the car radio effect. So you can search car radio and here it is. So the car radio effect makes your voice sound like this and it replicates the bad microphone quality on the VHS camera, making the video footage not only looks like it's shot on the VHS camcorder, but also sound like it's shot from the VHS camcorder. So that's pretty much all the effects you need to apply for this look. And let's take a look at a before and after. 